the most underrated areas of London, Ontario. So I make this YouTube channel for people that are thinking about moving to London and don't know it very well. These areas of London are often overlooked by people or simply just not mentioned as much as some of the other areas, but you'd be missing out if you don't look at these areas when considering a place to move. If you're from London, comment down below on what you think is some of the most underrated areas of London. Okay, first up, White Hills. So White Hills is located in Northwest London, which has always been considered one of the better sections of London. So this is your map here. So if you scroll in up to this area, this is uh, White Hills right here that's highlighted. The reason that I've included it on this list is because it's affordable and it's safe. It's in a good section of the town while being really affordable, um, which is pretty unique for London. I mean, London, the prices are getting up there pretty high. Com I mean, obviously not compared to Toronto, but compared to what they were. So back to our map here. If we look uh, at White Hills, just to the west of it is, uh, is Hyde Park, which we've talked about in other videos. That's known as a good area. North of it is Sunningdale, which is a very good area. And then below it is Oak Ridge, which is also another good area. So you have this, this spot that's just surrounded in nice areas. So like the crime is low. It's not you could go to East London and find a house for a similar price as what you're getting here, but you're going to be near the riffraff, so to speak. But over here, there is no riffraff that you're near. In fact, you are the riffiest raff that's around, technically speaking, okay? Because your house is worth less than all the other ones around it, which are worth close to a million dollars in a lot of the cases. So this is an example of what you can get in, in White Hills, okay? And this is the price that it sold for. Here's another example for you. And this is the price. Another reason why this is a great spot is just the amenities nearby. Like, Masonville Mall is right here. That's not a long drive. And then Springbank Park is, without a doubt, London's best park. It's an absolute beautiful large park right along the Thames River. It's right there. It's not far. And then, of course, you got Walmart and Home Depot and all that stuff right over uh, in the Hyde Park area right there, which, again, is going to be a three-minute drive. I'm a real estate appraiser and real estate agent, by the way. My name's Ryan. People call me all the time from YouTube. You can as well. If you're looking to buy a house in this area or invest in this area, me or someone from my team, uh, we can help you out. Just uh, shoot me a text right there, okay? All right, number two is Westmount. Now, it's not like Westmount is unheard of. Like, people talk about Westmount a lot. Like, it's a nice area. However, um, I feel like people kind of, in their mind, have it at a, as a lower level than a lot of the other areas in, in West London. Okay, but, I mean, look at this house right here. Okay, now, now look at this one. Isn't that pretty nice? I, and one more for you. Look at that. Okay, the fact is, Westmount is right here on your map, and the western portion of Westmount is a lot of newer homes from the early 2000s up until like finish this past year okay now if you go over to this section of westmount still fantastic but they're older 1970s homes okay so on the eastern side like this is an example of one of the quote-unquote older homes that's a beautiful home man uh that sold for 850 so that is like some of the older ones in the area and they just get newer from there like these ones I showed you before like these are all selling right around a million dollars right here and this is what I also really like about Westmount okay look at your map right here okay scroll in to Westmount right here uh you are right by Southdale right by Warncliffe right by Wonderland Road and look the 402 and look over here the 401 like you're right near all the major busy routes that can shoot you across the town or the county or Ontario, right, if you get on the highway, um, while also being in a quiet subdivision where you don't hear all that noise. As far as schools go, okay, Westmount Public School you know, it covers pretty much all of Westmount. Uh, that has a 6.6 .6 rating from the Fraser Institute. Now, they say that the average across Ontario for schools is 6. So this is 6.6. .6. It's ever so slightly better than average. The Catholic option, St. Uh, Rose, well, they just changed the name, St. Rose of Lima, uh, slightly higher rating. It's 7 out of 10. So again, a good school. And last but not least, we've got Northridge. And when I say Northridge, I also mean Stony Brook, which is like right next to it. It's this area. If you look at your map here, so this is the Thames River, okay, north of the Thames River, but south of Fanshawe Park Road. 
That is Northridge and Stony Brook right there. And these don't get mentioned enough. These are fantastic places to live. This area has so much going for it. Like, first of all, uh, do you see this on your map right here? This big green area? This is Kaleli Meadows. Uh, it has a whole ton of walking trails and hiking trails through there, right along the Thames River. And you'll see lots of wildlife in there. Like, there's deer in there. There's some beaver, believe it or not, in there. Uh, you might see the odd turkey, okay? Um... Also, the schools. So, Northridge Public School covers this section of the area. Uh, it has a 7.9 rating from the Fraser Institute, which is great. Again, if 6 is average, this is well above average. Students do well at this school. And then over in the Stony Brook portion of where I'm talking about, same thing. 8 out of 10 rating from the Fraser Institute. These kids are doing well. This is a great area to live with a lot of benefit. So what do the houses look like? Well, look at this one here. This is uh, going to cost you seven to seven fifty in this area. Um, if you want something a bit bigger, stuff like this will cost you more around the nine fifty mark. Those are the three I have for you today. Again, if you think there's other areas that are like way underrated and not mentioned much, feel free to comment down below if you're from London. If you're moving here and you need some help, uh, again, people call me from YouTube all the time. That's my phone number right there. You can shoot me a text or give me a call. Me or someone from my team can help you relocate to the London area or buy your investment property. Uh, thanks for watching. Go binge watch some more videos on this channel, okay?